I figured out how to query the database, but I still don't understand sessions. Which part? Well, my web pages are not compiled, right? Right. Page requests are run without knowing about each other. Then how does it work when I log in and browse around? You mean how does it keep track of who you are? Right. Aren't server-side applications stateless? Server-side languages use sessions to work around that. So what is a session? Think of sessions like the coat check counter at a nightclub. You give the attendant your stuff and you get back a ticket. And the ticket lets me get back my stuff later, right? Right. That ticket is a browser cookie that the server-side language sets. Like the ticket, the cookie is unique to you. If it's a cookie, then sessions are tied to that one browser, right? Yes, exactly. The cookie tells the language where in memory to look for your stuff, your session variables. What kinds of stuff can I put in my session variables? Some languages let you save objects to your session, but some languages won't let you save anything more than strings and numbers. Like a user ID, username, and email address. Exactly. What do I need to do to use sessions? In PHP you need the session start function. In ColdFusion you need to enable session management in your application.cfc. Other languages use similar techniques. So tell me if I have this right. OK. I show the login form. The user submits it. I get the username and password from the form data. Yes. I look up the user account and make sure the password is right. That gives me the user ID. Yes. I can store that user ID in the session and the user's full name. You should show their full name in your page header to remind them they are logged in. OK, I can do that. Each of my other pages can look for those session variables to see if the user is logged in or not. Correct. So how does logging out work? Easy. You just delete the session variables. Some languages even let you destroy the session. Why would I want to do that? It removes the session from the server's memory and it helps prevent session hijacking, where one user gets the session cookie from another. Would that let them pretend to be the other person? Exactly. So it's best to tidy up when a user has logged out. I think I got it. Thanks so much. Good. Now let's go get some tea. I have a feeling this is going to be a long night of fixing your web pages again.